Yeah, so I think that I can take this in a few angles. Uh, personally, I think that as a person uh, living in Newfoundland and Labrador, I observe uh, that there's a lot of, uh, or let's say a lack of uh, tangible resources that we can access, uh, re resources that uh, support uh, migrant struggles. And I think that uh, being engaged in um, a conversation that deals with anti-racism topics um, have been benef very beneficial to me. Um, at the same time, I think that um, being engaged in um, a leadership fellowship has been uh, something that has made me feel a little bit more intentional about organizing. Uh, that's something that I have taken on here and there uh, on a personal basis and with other sort of uh, engagements more so in the arts sector. So I think that um, being in my organization, being in my workplace and be able to learn more about organizing uh, to, in, in, in such a topic, uh, it has been very, very touching to me. Um, at the same time, I think that um, as a young queer woman that like, you know, like I grew up in the, in, in that like moment where everyone was in a forum, everyone was in social media. So I think I, I, I grew up observing a lot of violence and experiencing a lot of violence in, in online digital spaces. So I think that from that end, I really wanted to learn more um, about what does it looks like, like these experiences, how do they look in my community? And at the same time, what can I do um, about this uh, online violence that we experience? So often, oftenly, especially as a Black and the Indian tongue, um, persons of color in online spaces. Um, one of the, my, biggest, my biggest critiques or my, my biggest observations when uh, we talk about um, anti-racism or anti-oppressive practices in Newfoundland and Labrador is that we often lack about like, we often like um, localization. So I think that like um, being engaged in a project that um, will feel the just sort of like the creation of tools that are geographically relevant is it means a lot to me because I think that while we can talk about topics that are of, of like national interest or global interest, I do think that it's important to uh, have like locality in mind in terms of our geography. So it means a lot to me to have the opportunity to um, research or hear about experiences in my in my city. I think that from a theoretical level, something that I learned is that if we don't address online hate, we're going to continue feeding structures and models that are made to um, sort of like oppress and make it unlivable for black indigenous and persons of colors. Uh, to be in digital spaces. In a personal level, I think that professionalization has been something that I that has been a heavy impact of my engagement with the fellowship. Um, as I mentioned, it's strengthening my leadership and learning more in depth and having the space and capacity and resources to learn more in depth about this particular topic has been very beneficial. Uh, in, in a personal level. I think that at the same time, one of the, the most interesting experiences that I have gotten from this uh, fellowship has been the capacity to connect with my community about something that I'm passionate about and that in the past, like I didn't knew how many people would know about online hate speech in the local context or like that would feel comfortable about talking or that would feel comfortable about organizing. Uh, so. Uh, that engagement with the community has been a very critical piece on how um, I see my work in the in the human sector and how I see the work that the organization that I work for work with um, takes on. Um, at the same time, uh, a huge impact uh, that has sort of like been an outcome from this engagement has been a lot of excitement because. Um, I am a newly a new member of the movement, a new member of White Lucy St. John's, and I've been thinking about ideas or ways on how I can uh, sort of like alleviate certain like a desire for more knowledge or desire desire to engage more in research projects. So I think that in in this space, I have been able to um, not only connect with people that are researching this topic in the Canadian context, but at the same time generate um, or, or help with this process of researching. So I think that it has been certainly um, a very comprehensive and robust experience. Um, at the same time, I think that like there's something really beautiful about like seeing yourself in a space um, 
where you can connect with others based on their lived experiences or based on their struggles, uh, being in a, in a cohort uh, field of a very supportive, a very open and very, um, very kind um, a woman, a woman identifying people uh, that like, you know, feel like me, that look like me has been a incredibly healing for me. I think that as a, as a, as a young immigrant, I don't often see myself portrayed or like in research spaces um, or in professional spaces. So I think that it has been a very healing process um, and a very touching process as well. When I thought about your, your question, um, two words came to me. Uh, and then one of them was openness to ideas or, or two concepts, I guess. Openness to ideas and then solidarity. Um, in, in, a, in such an innovative space and with a cohort that comes from different backgrounds, I've encountered lots of support for the ideas that I bring to the table and nourishment because I found that um, a, my, my fellow fellows, <laughs> my fellow fellows uh, are very much interested in, in, in the growth of others as well, not only their personal growth through the program. I find a lot of kind words, kind support, and also uh, recommendations of things to read or things to hear. Uh, so I think that like uh, that openness to ideas uh, is something that is very descriptive, not only of the fellowship group, but also of why do we say Canada, um, and what do we say, all the, all the movement itself. I think that there is a lot of a space for, for the people that are, the voices that are not often listened or like centered. I think there's a lot of a space for, for us to, you know, reclaim a little bit of that autonomy of our ideas and, and share and share. Um, so in the sort of like, Solidarity aspect, I think that this concept of, you know, elevating certain voices is very much tied up to it. Um, and at the same time, I think that like, um, this movement means a lot because um, I mentioned often that I don't see a lot of newcomer services rep like present uh, in my community, ones that are um, pushing to make tangible changes. So it excites me to see that an organization is truly caring to listening to the needs of their communities or their community members. And it excites me to know that there's a lot of openness to hear from um, people engaged in the movement present, you know, in those sites and uh, a lot of openness to hear the ideas and to support, uh, you know, the struggles and the barriers that could, we could be facing.